Hello guys, welcome to my new video series in which I'll be sharing some interesting and useful tips, tricks and hacks related to Jupyter Notebook. So without any delay, let's get started. So in this video, we'll be learning how we can run JavaScript code in the Jupyter Notebook itself. And for that, we need to learn um, a few things. So one of them being that Jupyter Notebook supports something called magic commands. And you can get a list of them by running something like this, ls magic, and you will get all the magic commands. So basically there are two types of magic commands. One is line magic, another one is cell magic. So line magic commands are applicable only um, on a single line, whereas cell magic commands are applicable over a complete cell of the Jupyter Notebook. So in this case, we are trying to run the Jupyter, uh, the JavaScript code in the Jupyter Notebook itself. So for that, we have a cell magic command called modulo.js, double modulo.js or double modulo JavaScript. They mean the same thing. So if I write, uh, if I want to run some JavaScript code in the Jupyter Notebook itself, what I have to do is I have to specify that I want this particular um, cell to be treated as a JavaScript code cell. So for that, I will have to do mod double modulo JS or double modulo JavaScript. They mean the same thing. And then let me run some JavaScript code like alert hello. So let's see what happens. Look at that. You got alert, right? So in this way, you can run any JavaScript code um, in a particular Jupyter Notebook cell by using this particular magic command, cell magic command. Also, let's take um, a complete example. Let's say a, where um, a is equal to 1, where b is equal to 2, and where c is equal to a plus b. And let's say I want to print the output which is the variable c as the output of my cell itself then what i can do in that case so for doing that you have to use something called element dot text in which you have to just pass the variable which you want to get printed so that's it and if you run it you get the output okay so you have to use element dot text if you want your output to be a cell output so this is all about running the JavaScript code in the Jupyter Notebook itself. So I hope it's clear. If you still have any doubt, you can put them in the comment section below. That's it from this video. Thanks for watching.